cat interviews at uber confluent indeed and many many more companies i have seen it all after countless hours on the other side of the table i know exactly what top companies are looking for especially in nld in this course i'll share the insider blueprints what to focus on especially key design patterns how much multi threading very important counter question traps and how to tackle them confidently this course is structured practical and tailored on what companies are looking for right now let's get you into ready right now Okay, so after completing the behavioral design pattern, now we are on to structural design pattern. Now, as the word itself says, structural design pattern. Imagine a structure. Structure as in, okay, you are building something. You are an architect, and you are designing a super awesome skyscraper. All this, you will build it brick by brick. But you will have some structural engineers, contractor designers, which can actually club things up and make awesome stuff by focusing on their specialized part. So this is exactly how you know in real system designs it it works. So it's so basically these patterns which we will study they don't create just the objects but they explain how to assemble these objects. Again, when I say objects, I mean classes as well into very large structures, but making sure that the prime portion of LLD which is flexibility and efficiency is still maintained. And as the word itself says, structure. simply here means that we are following structural pattern which is focusing on architecture of our code as a structure of our code architecture of our code so if we saw uh, creation was creating objects behavioral was how these interact structural was how they are placed and how they can be structured such that it will be very easy for it to scale in future now imagine that you are building a very large application obviously it will have many components and they need to work together for example apis databases user interfaces and so on and so forth now if i don't manage my system properly obviously it will become super tangled and i won't be able to extend that in future and that's the biggest drawback so because of that tangled dependency what might happen that any change you make might break some other component which you might even not sure of and that is because things are very tightly coupled and you never want things in lld to be tightly coupled so structural design pattern says here that uh, things will be pretty well defined and also i will have flexible connections between different components right so that again obviously you see that let's say if i draw two buildings now if i want to extend that in future i want to make a you know a very good building so i can extend that and that is the entire thing that how they were structured that they helped me in extensibility of that specific building which means that i have very reduced dependency on any other thing which means that if i am trying to you know extend a feature here some making you know something so obviously it should be structured such that it is not dependent upon this component and that is that will help us obviously to extend and maintain that in future and again for lld perspective it is easier to understand as well now comes that what all structural design patterns we are going to study in this specific course we will see adapter pattern now as you can see itself adapter you must have used many adapters obviously if you are using you know a macbook or maybe you are using any other very thin laptop you must see that you don't have a usb b port right so you use a usb b to usb c adapter because your laptop has usb c but you have usb b so your mouse which is you know usb b type again i'm just talking about you know couple of years back you were getting usb b type dongles so you can attach that to adapter and adapter can simply link to your macbook or maybe any laptop same way you must have used hdmi adapter so all these are nothing but adapters as the word itself says adapter so basically it is acting as a bridge between two incompatible interfaces again incompatible interfaces and allowing them to work together without altering their underlying code so i can let that macbook work i don't want or i don't have to change to incorporate a you know usb b dongle no i can simply use a adapter you know a simple stuff i can use and that's how i can make my adapter design pattern next is bridge pattern obviously imagine bridge bridge is nothing but we have two components and they are separate and they can be changed independently i will connect them via a bridge for example a simple thing you have you i i give you a task that circle vector render so you have a circle and vector you know a rendering type although uh, for the folks who have you know tried um, adobe illustrator you have different types of uh, things which you can draw or uh, you can you can experiment with you know drawing artists people do that so 
Imagine I ask you that okay for a circle shape do a vector rendering or for a rectangle shape do a raster rendering right but obviously circle is something different and rendering type is something different so I can say a shape and a render I can bridge that gap via using a bridge design pattern although we will see very deep in deep but I am just giving you a quick idea of how exactly they are or what exactly they are. Now again, I can implement, I can, you know, implement things, change things independently in shape and render, but yeah, the things will evolve as I have bridged the gap between them. Now composite pattern as I also said composite. So you have multiple things, multiple small things, you make a composite out of it. So basically any tree, it has some branches, same way, basically each branch can have other small branches. Or you know multiple leaves it, it, it can go endlessly same way I can say that in my composite pattern I will treat in every individual object as a group of objects uniformly which means that you have a flat in a flat you have a floor in a floor you have multiple rooms so you see in a flat you have multiple floors in a floor you have multiple rooms in a room you have multiple appliances and again appliances can be on or off so if I want you know it's my closing time of the flat so my flat needs to be closed down right now so i can just simply say flat on or flat off it will simply go inside all the flows all the rooms all the appliances and make them off that is how you simply compose it to one thing and that is your composite pattern so it helps you to treat every individual object and also and its corresponding group of object also uniformly so you see i can run this on thing on floor as well on this room as well on the appliance as well so that's the beauty of composite pattern and obviously it helps us work like it helps us our life much more easier to work on very complex hierarchies because as you can see like right now it's a very small hierarchy like flat floors room and appliances it can be very deep as well and that is the beauty of composite pattern next we will study about decorator pattern decorator as you can simply say decorator so imagine you have a cake you will decorate it and obviously a cake always starts with a base cake base you know plain cake and obviously if you want chocolate if you want vanilla you just simply add different type of layers frosting sprinkles and corresponding design with that your cakes become different same way goes for coffee you know you have latte pate multiple stuff and same way for pizza you have paneer pizza, cheese pizza, chicken pizza, like so on and so forth. So you see that things are same, base is same. You just keep on changing stuff. You just decorate this specific base. That is what your decorated design pattern is. And ultimately, again, this is how exactly we can enhance things or maybe, you know, make the final product without even altering our entire base. Base remains same, which is kind of the base or essence of LLD that reusing stuff. So I'm reusing my base and modifying to get the final output. So I can just simply add new behaviors, new patterns, new responsibilities, and I don't want to modify the existing structure itself. Next is facade pattern. As the process is facade. Now, facade simply simplifying the complexity of it. Obviously, let's say if you have a home theater, so you want that okay, you know, uh, let's say play the home theater. So obviously uh, you will have to insert CD, you have to, you know, uh, insert light, like uh, turn on the light or like do uh, maybe uh, off it or, you know, play the sound and then increase the volume. So there are a lot of steps. Facade says that, okay, you don't have to perform the individual action that you have. Just do one thing and then I will take care of the rest of the things. So you don't have to worry about the underlying complexity of applying all the operations as a master of home i'll just say play home theater all the operations all the underlying operations will be handled automatically and that is what your facade is which is making it very easy to interact with and like with the actual stuff without dealing with the underlying complexity or details which, which whichever i have next is our flyweight pattern as well as this flyweight you know sharing the resources efficiently so that the weight or the memory footprint is very less. For example, you know that you have games. In that game, you have multiple characters. Take Y City. You have multiple characters. So if you can share same objects for something, for example, there are multiple players inside that specific game. You know, multiple characters inside that game. But obviously, their hairstyle can be different. 
you know but their dress can be same for a lot of them their hand body so there are a lot of things which can be reused and thus making sure that we are not making new objects every time unnecessarily thus leaving us with lesser memory footprint or saving us space making it fly weight right lesser weight for example you know you have library you have to uh, store multiple copies for multiple readers but no you will say that I will show a single copy and I will lend out to the multiple readers. Again, using or utilizing my memory footprint. Obviously, it will help you to minimize the memory usage and also sharing the common parts which I can share. And but again, obviously, making sure that I will have the corresponding uh, unique details for each instance. Still, it's just that whatever common parts are there, I can still share them. Now, next is proxy pattern. As well as proxy i i think if you are a college student or if you have been in college you must have heard about proxy proxy is on behalf of someone to something imagine that you have a professor who is asking for a attendance now your friend who is a proxy of yours and you are sitting at home chilling but your friend has attended the class so you ask him something and then he will tell in place of you so the same is proxy now although this is a very easy term but a simple way you must have seen that you use netflix or you use multiple sites then there's always a proxy in between which make sure that you are not directly interacting with the main thing you are interacting with the proxy then proxy you know apply some operations again you can think of there are many things which handles at the uh, you know uh, under the hood but still you will interact with the corresponding video streaming service via the proxy it will help you in rate limiting it will help you in you know assign the responsibilities authorization authentication handling that entire thing and again let's say if you try to do a, a ddos so it can handle it. It, it 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 doesn't have to go to the main service which you have and that's the beauty of proxy or you know proxy pattern that i will have something in between and that is actually the one which, is, which will interact so i'm just safe i know always that only the operation which are allowed from the proxy will come up to me that's it so i'm always worry free so imagine that you have a personal assistant and he has to handle some calls emails and you know some appointments so he will do in place in behalf of you and that is you as a person imagine that you will have that you know liberty of uh, having an assistant so you will never have to interact with you know anyone else your assistant will interact and that's your proxy design pattern so basically it's providing a placeholder and uh, anything uh, you know for any object uh, controlling access to it or any extra behavior i can just add to the corresponding uh, proxy pattern now obviously uh, the main thing is that why should we use it it's obviously one of the very major thing is organized code you have a very organized structured piece of code which you will have there will be reduced dependencies because you have built the entire code with the help of structure and structure says that you know, keep things separate and then maybe if you want to bridge the gap so you can bridge the gap if you want to uh, you know adapt a new pattern you can use adapter if you want to you know interact with it have a proxy uh, you know so on and so forth obviously reusability is obviously coming up because i can now use this same thing for different stuff by using a simple adapter for example if i want to let's say usb I'm not sure like if you guys are aware that like uh, we used to get a micro USB as well, micro USB back in 20. I, I'm, I'm not sure like you guys are aware of that, but my trimmer actually is of micro USB. So if I want to, you know, charge my trimmer, I can write an adapter or on top of it just so that uh, I can apply or use the same thing with the micro USB as well. Same way, uh, re reusability increases. Obviously, we have very simplified maintenance because I can individually treat different components and same way in a building as well in a skyscraper if i have different components i can individually maintain them and i just need to make sure that they work perfectly fine and even if one thing is not maintained okay this will still work although 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 in terms of very huge buildings you might say Aaron, what about the base forget about the base like base is the neve when the neve is set now you are individually independently making the different components even if one component is struck by a force of uh, 11 kilometer per like 119 kilometer per hour so so in that case still if this is destroyed still things will work fine and even if i want to attach some things in future i can attach it as well that's the beauty cool uh as i told some of the examples in real life 
just you know doing giving a quick recap as well adapter basically integrating any third party api with a with some very you know different formats this is very 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 common and uh, when we interact with any service or anything we just always keep on interacting with uh, any third party api or anything of, the, of that matter and obviously we have the bridge you know uh, just cross platform ui framework which can separate like platform specific implementation and that's how i can bridge uh, such things now composite pattern as we also saw that uh, for example if you have a folder structure in an operating system so i can you know go inside go inside go inside go inside go inside and do some operations on top of it so i can have files and folders and i can treat both of them uniformly so you will see that you have folder and again you will we will see that entire thing in our lld uh, you know lld problem as well so no worries on that part next is decorator as we saw many examples but if we talk about a real life example we will see text editor so if you want to add a new feature we can add it on top of it simply let's say if i want to add a spell check or maybe you know auto format or maybe auto complete i can simply add as a decorator on top of existing editor itself same way we have facade obviously as a facade sales just simplify the existing complex thing and you know keep it very simple so very complex video player library i can just provide a simple single play pause interface and the person has to interact with this interface and he will be pretty good with under like he will not he will never have to know about the underlying thing of how this complex video player works when i click a play or a pause next is flyweight as a word says is flyweight lesser memory footprint so i will have to manage characters in a word processor so that like you know that a character wears clothes as fonts styles colors so i can assign different fonts styles colors to different characters uniformly and repeatedly with using lesser memory footprint by keeping them as one object and that's how i use a flyweight design pattern next is proxy proxy says that okay i can control the access to anything here it is a remote database but with the help of proxy such that the person directly do not interact with the uh, with the db will interact with the proxy and the proxy internally goes and communicate with my db itself thus making me sure that uh, i am secure my database is secure and it will not have to handle or bear any uh, repercussions so ending off with a note that uh, structural design pattern says that everything is very well connected organized and efficient and obviously when these are there then your code is more robust extensible and maintainable so that's the thing and obviously we took the example of a skyscraper but you can take any example where the structures are built for example your family uh, family you know uh, neve uh, you know again okay that's a very emotional example <laughs> i'll leave it cool uh, so again with that you know that your application can simply thrive with simple careful structured relationships between its corresponding objects cool i hope you guys got the gist and got interesting about structured structural design pattern we will see next about adapter and then we can go on to the different design patterns in actual depth cool see you bye bye